Hi. So I don't know about you, but I found the last couple of days devotionals really helpful and really interesting. Um, some things I have learnt new and some things I have reminded myself of. And I think that's what God wants to do on a daily basis, is remind us of who we are in Christ. It's something that God wants to reaffirm in us. It's like, um, I'm just thinking now and speaking it out, but it's like when Jesus was baptised and he came up out of the water and God said, this is my beloved son with whom I'm well pleased. Jesus knew he was the beloved of God, but actually God was reaffirming who he was, who Jesus was to him. And I think that's what God wants to do for us on a daily basis. He wants to reaffirm that you are his beloved. You are a beloved son or daughter of God. And every day we reaffirm that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Like we've learned, it's Christ's righteousness that he gifts to us. So today we're looking at an interesting one. It's called the key um, to faith. And that's quite a big subject, isn't it? Faith. It's quite a big open wide gate of discussion and um, scriptures and different points of view. But actually, what is the key to faith? And I'm going to read um, Hebrews 12 verse 2. It says, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. As humans, not only do we have a propensity to zoom in on every little flaw in our physical and emotional makeup, but we all have a tendency, also have a tendency to know and remember and replay every single one of our, our sins, our failings in our minds. We replay them over and over again, all the mistakes we've made. We condemn ourselves for even our smallest flaws instead of how focusing on how God sees us. And that is in Christ Jesus. Perfect in Christ. This is why it takes faith to believe that God sees you righteous. It takes faith to believe that he does not see you in your sins, that he does not observe sin or iniquity in you. It takes faith to believe that he means what he says when he says, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. That's in Hebrews 8 verse 12. It takes faith to believe that God will not remember your failings and your mistakes. God will not remember them. So like how we say, if someone does something bad, and we they say sorry and we make up and you're like, oh, forget about it, it's fine, let's just move on. We can still recall that situation. And perhaps um, later down the track, if, if there's some more friction, you recall, oh, that person did that though as well. I remember ages ago they did that and they're doing it again or whatever, whatever. God never says, oh, you've done it again, because he doesn't remember. It says their sins and their lawless deeds, I will remember no more. It's amazing. We can recall all the things we've done wrong, but God, he doesn't. He can't. He's not remembered them. He doesn't hold those things against us. But my sins, they're staring at me. How can I have faith to believe that God doesn't see them? That's a big question. How do we have that kind of faith to believe this scripture? My friend, the key is found in looking to the source of faith, Jesus Christ. As the Bible says, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, Hebrews 12 verse 2. Your faith to believe is found in in Jesus. The Amplified Bible puts it this way, looking away from all that will distract to Jesus, who is the leader and the source of our faith, giving the first incentive for our belief and is also the finisher, bringing it to maturity and perfection. Beautiful. Jesus started our faith and he brings it into maturity and perfection. He's the source of our faith. In other words, 
Turn your eyes away from your own flaws, imperfections, failings and mistakes and just fix your eyes on Jesus. That's not being naive to all the stuff we get wrong. That's not saying, oh, well, it doesn't matter that I get that stuff wrong. I'll fix my eyes on Jesus. It means that as you fix your eyes on Jesus, he gives you the ability to overcome those things in your life. As you fix your eyes on Jesus, the power of those things are broken. The more you see Jesus and his finished work, the more faith arises in your heart to believe that all your sins are truly forgiven. You can start on a clean slate and have a brand new beginning in Christ. The old has gone, the new has come. And our thought for today, the key to faith is found in looking to the source of my faith, which is Jesus. And our prayer today, Lord Jesus, I turn my eyes away from my flaws, imperfections, failings and mistakes, and just fix my eyes on you. Thank you for your unchanging promise that you will not remember my failings and mistakes. Because of your finished work, I am free to start on a clean slate and receive your fresh mercies every single day in Jesus name. Amen. So go away and really think about that today. Think about how good God is and fix your eyes on Jesus. Every time you get tempted to remember something that you've done wrong, oh sometimes man I could just cringe at the stuff I get wrong, but actually that does me no good because God doesn't remember them. Actually I am perfect in Christ. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And as I fix my eyes on him, he brings me into his presence and the fullness of that forgiveness. So I'm going to go and read the kids devotional now. So join me if you fancy and have a good day. Bye.